The James Webb Telescope has detected numerous massive unidentified objects, which are close in proximity to everything we know so far on Earth. Stars and galaxies account for only 5% of the universe, while the remaining 95% is composed of dark energy and dark matter, elements unknown to us. These enigmatic entities could emerge from the vast 95% that remains to be explored. Get ready for a journey full of wonder, as this is not science fiction, but an exciting cosmic discovery unfolding before our eyes. If you are interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, and turn on the notification bell. Surely you have heard about the Hubble Telescope, a marvel that has provided us with incredible views and knowledge of the cosmos. Now, let me introduce you to its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope. Since its launch, this amazing technology has been hard at work in the far corners of our universe, unlocking its small ancient secrets. A magnificent testament of human ingenuity, the James Webb Space Telescope represents the next generation of space exploration that will take us on a cosmic journey into the never-before-revealed mysteries of the universe. Its launch on Christmas Day 2021 marked a crucial milestone in the history of astronomy. The James Webb has already begun to redefine our understanding of the cosmos as NASA's most formidable creation. A crucial feature of the James Webb Telescope is its high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments, which allow it to perceive objects too old, distant, or faint to be detected by Hubble. By picking up these elusive signals from the cosmos, the James Webb gives us the opportunity to explore the birth of the universe, the formation of galaxies, and even delve into the enigmatic realms of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, a massive substance with gravity but invisible, lacks interaction with light and the electromagnetic force. The James Webb Space Telescope's primary mirror is a testament to innovative engineering, composed of 18 hexagonal segments coated with a thin layer gold. This mirror, 6.5 meters in diameter, covers an area of 26.3 square meters and provides an amazingly detailed imaging capability of celestial objects. It is impressive to think that this golden telescope, built by humans, has captured mind-blowing images of space. Located at a Lagrange point to 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the James Webb enjoys an unobstructed view of the cosmos. Its strategic position shields it from the Earth's atmosphere, minimizing interference caused by atmospheric turbulence, and allowing it to make a clearer and more precise observation. The James Webb's advanced infrared instruments are an indispensable tool for studying the atmospheres and compositions of exoplanets, especially gas giants, as well as for investigating the formation and evolution of planetary systems beyond our own solar system. James Webb's contributions are significant to our understanding of the universe. Recently, it has revealed hundreds of ancient galaxies that might await the earliest members of the universe, shedding light on the formation of the first galaxies and stars and demonstrating a deeper understanding of the cosmic processes that shaped our present cosmos. However, the James Webb Space Telescope is not just a window into the past. Its ability to predict the future evolution of the cosmos makes it a true cosmic time machine. It allows us to look back to the first light of the universe and trace the evolution of galaxies over time. And guess what? The James Webb Telescope has just made an extraordinary revelation that has left the entire scientific community excited. It's as if this telescope has managed to open an ancient dusty book of the universe, revealing hundreds of extremely old galaxies that existed just 600 million years after the Big Bang. 600 million years may sound like a lot, but in cosmic terms, it's probably just the blink of an eye. Imagine if the entire history of the universe could be summarized in a two-hour movie. These galaxies are showing us what happened in the first five minutes. These findings are part of an international project called the Advanced Extragalactic Survey, which takes advantage of the James Webb's incredible observational capabilities. Scientists have focused on two relatively small areas of the sky, one pointing toward the constellation Ursa Minor and the other toward the Fornax Cluster. What is found in these two areas is absolutely astonishing, more than 700 young galaxies that have never before been seen by human eyes. These galaxies exhibit complex structures in active regions of star formation. 
Kevin Hain, research assistant professor at Stewart Observatory in Arizona and one of the lead authors of the study, compared this discovery to the first scenes in a movie about the life of the universe. These galaxies are the stars that begin the process of creating the elements that would eventually give rise to the complexity we see in the world around us today. And here comes the really mind-blowing part. During what we can call the first five minutes of the life of the universe, when it was between 370 and 650 million years old, the teams identified a staggering 717 of these young galaxies. This number exceeds scientists' previous predictions. Let us pause for a moment and reflect. We are talking about more than 700 galaxies when the universe was still in its cosmic cradle. It's as if a handful of elementary school children suddenly multiplied it into an entire school district overnight. But wait, there's more. These weren't just little galaxies. Each of them stretched across thousands of light years, comparable to the width of our own Milky Way galaxy. These cosmic infants were already forming complex structures and giving rise to stars in multiple locations. It is as if these galaxies have just come out and are already moving full speeds ahead. As Haling said before this discovery, the first galaxies we could observe looked like mere blobs. But don't be fooled, those blobs actually represent millions or even billions of stars at the dawn of the universe. With the capability of the James Webb Space Telescope, we have gone from seeing indistinct blobs to extended objects with visible structures, like a blurry photo that comes into sharp focus. The two specific regions where these young galaxies are located have an interesting name. They are collectively known as the Good South Region. This area of the sky is not new to astronomers. In fact, it has been extensively studied by nearly every major space telescope including the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and even NASA's now-retired Splitzer Space Telescope. Despite the scrutiny to which these slices of sky in the Good South region have been subjected, it turns out that a staggering 93% of the galaxies observed by the James Webb Telescope are completely new, never before detected by any other high-profile instruments. Imagine that the universe still patiently holds these hidden secrets, waiting for our technology to advance enough to uncover them. It's like finding hidden treasure in a place you thought you knew like the back of your hand. As Halen said before this discovery, what astronomers used to see mostly were the celebrities of the early universe, the most extreme and brightest examples of galaxies. But the latest findings from the James Webb Space Telescopes let us meet the ordinary people of the cosmos, so to speak. Those more ordinary everyday galaxies that are forging their way through a universe in its infancy. You may wonder how that dusty chaos evolved to become the transparent universe we see today. Well, that's something scientists have been trying to understand. One of the leading theories involved a phase in the evolution of the universe known as the Epic Reunification. This phase is believed to have begun approximately 400,000 years after the Big Bang. On this occasion, the first generation of stars made their appearance. These were no ordinary stars. They were giants, with masses 30 to 300 times that of the Sun and millions of times brighter. These massive stars ignited for the first time, filling the universe with their powerful ultraviolet light. The radiation from these stars had a profound impact. It triggered a process called reunification, where hydrogen atoms scattered throughout the universe, splitting to protons and electrons. This process transformed the opaque dusty universe into the transparent universe we know today. It is as if the universe had taken off of a pair of dirty glasses and exchanged them for crystal clear ones. This significant process continued for about a billion years after the Big Bang. However, some astronomers believe that they may be another important player in this cosmic story. Astronomers suggested that emission from supermassive black holes similar to the one at the center of a Milky Way may have acted as a kind of beacon to help galaxies escape ultraviolet radiation. It's true, these black holes could have played a much more significant role in the evolution of the cosmos than previously believed. I hope you liked this video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video to reach more people, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our next videos.